year after year. Since 1990, the headlines in the local papers cried for clues. It's always in my, has been on my mind. Law enforcement veterans like now retired Captain Larry Hensley say it's a case he always wished he could have solved. It's frustrating because you know you have a person that's missing and you really want to help find this person uh, alive and help the family. It's like she just walked off the face of the earth. She just disappeared into thin air. Hensley was one of the lead detectives on the case. It just, we don't know what we, uh, we did everything humanly possible that we could do. The remains of Rosemary unearthed just a few miles from where she was abducted. Investigators look back now and wonder if there's more they could have done. It's something that always kind of haunt me that, you know, did, did we did we fly over that? I, I really don't, I do not know for sure. David Marcarell was the chief deputy in Wharton County at the time. The ultimate hope was that somehow she had survived, you know, and you, you know, you, the, the logical side of me said that wasn't possible, but the heart said it could always happen. 15 year old girl who vanished without a trace decades ago may have finally been found after all of these years. It would be about nine months before DNA testing confirmed the remains were those of Rosemary. But the family knew because of the ring also found in that shallow grave, the one she received at her quinceanera. Still, there was no way to determine a cause of death. Too much time had passed. The remains were too badly decomposed. Detectives say there was no evidence on the body that indicated how Rosemary was killed. And we can't even prove at this point that, that, that she was murdered. All we know is that she was buried there. Investigators believe Rosemary was likely hit on the head or strangled. But since there's no evidence and the person who they believe responsible is also dead, any conclusions would be an assumption. It virtually makes it impossible without somebody can confessing to it. Still, the discovery, a relief not just for family, but for those who worked the case. The question still lingers. If several people in the Rodriguez family suspected what might have happened to Rosemary and said something, could 25 years of pain and uncertainty for her family have been avoided? It's very frustrating from law enforcement because someone did know something, and, and I don't know how soon they knew it, but it would have, it would have helped immensely. Had they known more when Frank Merlos Rodriguez was alive, maybe they could have pursued a case against him. This is the case file. Yeah. Right? Right. So, and, and that's just, I imagine, a portion of what has been uh, collected over the years. Yeah, yes. Um, Wharton County's case file on it is a, a couple of big boxes. Um, FBI had several boxes. Had he been alive today, would you have enough to charge him? I would probably have enough to charge him to get a warrant, but I don't have enough for a conviction. At least not today. Detectives say this case will never be closed. Though we tried repeatedly, Frank's widow, Margarita, never responded to our repeated requests for her side of the story. Remember, she told detectives she was too fearful to come forward sooner. It's very hard to think that the person that you live with is in the kind of thing. You're afraid and you can't even do nothing. You know, you, you, you put us through so much hurt. The grief endured by Rosemary's family now turning to anger directed toward Frank's family. You didn't help any. You didn't help. And now you, you don't want to say anything and you hide? Shame on you. Shame on you. Why, why did she hold on to this information so long? You know, I, I asked God to have mercy on her. But me, I, I can't forgive her. I don't think I can forgive her for that. Rosemary's father died before she was found. So he never knew what happened to her. Her mother is still alive. Rosemary's sister, Irma, wants Margarita to meet with her mother because she has to look my mother in the eyes and ask my mom for forgiveness. I, I think she, she owes, if not all of us, my mom, an apology.
Since the discovery, Rosemary has been given a proper burial. Closure, not just for the family, but for a community. Rosemary was the same age as my oldest daughter, and it really affected her because she rode the bus with her. And then all of a sudden she disappears, and you think about her all the time. And, you know, you've kept up with the stories throughout the years, and uh, no clues, no answers. We would just simply make prayer during the liturgy. We would offer prayers for her, for whatever, whatever could happen to bring her back. The fact of people themselves talking was it was a prayer, because that talking was a prayer expressing hope that someday she will be back. The case still touching so many here so greatly that an anonymous donor felt compelled to pay for a memorial plaque at El Campo High School, a memorial for the 15-year-old who would never graduate. It, it, it touched a lot of people, the whole situation, all the years that had gone by, and, and they just felt compelled to do something. Now, finally, after years alone in a field in an unmarked grave, Rosemary has a permanent resting place, marked by a headstone with her name, a date of birth and death. She's next to my father, and we can go put flowers, we can go visit, we can go talk to her. Um, she's not lost anymore. Rosemary Diaz, now found, her story told. Forever 15, never to be forgotten.